Yesterday, the Prime Minister announced a range of measures to fight the spread of COVID-19. So far, there have been no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Tairawhiti, but we must all take sensible precautions to keep our whānau, our neighbours and our workmates safe from infection. The most vulnerable ones are our pakeke, 65 years plus, and people who have chronic health conditions such as respira respiratory illnesses, heart problems and diabetes. Our old age or chronic conditions lower people's immunity to the flu and other viruses. So we must take care not to expose those people to situations where they could pick up an infection. The Prime Minister has asked us all to take these steps in addition to washing our hands and avoiding close contact with each other. First, she asks that we keep our travel to a minimum and only for essential reasons. Essential reasons are going to the doctor or to get some kai when you think you might be running out. Going to a cousin's birthday, however much you love your cousin, is no longer a reason to travel. Second, there will be a limit on the size of gatherings to no more than 100. Only a few days ago, the limit was 500. So this is tightening up as we work harder to stop COVID-19 from spreading. I know that in Ngati Pro, we have already called off a number of hui in the interests of containing the spread of flu and other infections to our pakeke and to each other. We will need to keep doing that. The leadership of our marae, our hapu and our taurahere will need to make their own calls on this in the interests of keeping 
therefore no safe from the risk of infection. This is especially difficult when it comes to tangianga, but we must urge caution and safe practice. Fano pani can be fatigued, run down, and therefore susceptible to illness. We have an extra duty to keep them safe from infection, even if it means keeping us respectful distance from them and each other during the bereavement, and staying away altogether if we think we might pose any risk at all of passing on a flu or other virus. These measures brought upon us by extraordinary circumstances. So we must be kind and forgiving of each other for not being able to carry out our normal practices at this time. Third, the Prime Minister had, has advised persons aged 70 years and older to avoid unnecessary contact with others. If you have one or more chronic conditions, this is a step you should also take up. If you know of whānau members who are going to be impacted by this new measure, then do what you can to help them, with things like doing their shopping for them or calling them to check on how they are getting on. At this point, I want to outline the steps being taken to contain COVID-19 in Ngāti and across the Tairawhiti. First and most importantly, the public health measures. Ngāti Hōora is one of the health groups providing flu jabs ahead of the coming winter. This began on Thursday on the East Coast, with priority being given to Pakeke 65 years plus and people with chronic conditions. The jabs are available by appointment at the local Hoora clinics. It is important that this is done by appointment because this helps limit the number of people in the clinic at any one time and so helps reduce the spread of infections. Ngati Pro Hoora will also arrange for home visits for Komatua, Pakeke unable to travel to their local clinic or who may be ill and susceptible to infection if they leave home. We need to be mindful, Egama, that our Hawara staff are working in the front line, so we must all make sure we are keeping them as safe as possible so that they can carry out their response work for what many work for much, what may be many months to come. The flu jab is not an antidote for COVID-19, but what it will do is fight against normal flu and therefore help keep people's immune systems strong in case they come in contact with COVID. Without the jab, they will be much more vulnerable against the effects of COVID-19. If you are experiencing flu symptoms, sore throat, coughing or shortness of breath, then ring the COVID-19 helpline 0800 358 5453. Ke korotua 0800-358-5453. The health line might then book you an appointment to go and get tested for COVID-19. There is a testing station at the Puya Hospital, as well as stations in Gisborne. But you must have an appointment from the health line or from your doctor before going there. This is to make sure that there are enough of the test kits, kits for those who need them, as well as making sure our whole order staff can manage the number of people they have at the hospital. From today, there will also be restrictions placed on visits to Gisborne Hospital. Visitor, number, visitor numbers will be limited to one at a time and the final room is closed until further notice. Again, the objective here is to keep the patients and health staff away from any unnecessary health risks and to avoid any of us picking up an infection and passing it on to others. From the health measures, I want to update you on the social services support we will be offering to Fano at home and across Tairawhiti. 
We are shifting our focus from responding to the downturn in forestry jobs to helping whānau through the risk of COVID and the coming winter. We will still have whānau water navigators assisting our forestry workers to connect with government's wage subsidy and new job opportunities in the region. But our wider social services teams will be assigned to some practical measures we can offer to our whānau. First, we will have packs of sanitizers and disinfectants for up to 2,000 whānau across Tairawhiti. Each pack should last a household of five members up to a month. Second, we will be organising firewood and warm clothing for distribution to those in high need. The details are being worked out, but, but we are aiming to have that up and running within the next two weeks. Third, we will be organising food parcels and a process of distribution to our pakeke. As I said, the government has advised pakeke 70 years and older not to travel. So we need to have steps in place to organise their shopping and or drop off kai parcels to them until things return to normal. We all need to do our bit. If you are in a position to keep an eye on pakeke or your neighbours, then do so. But do it away in a way that keeps them and you safe from the spread of infection and illness. In closing, there has been a lot of lot said on social media about closing the state highway in and out of Ngati Pro. I have been asked by a number of groups to state Ngati Pro's position on that suggestion. I certainly understand the concerns that underline those proposals and for other iwi. I respect that they will be going through their own consultation processes with police and local authorities informing their positions. My understanding, however, is that the only organisations with powers to conduct or authorise closures or checkpoints on the state highways are New Zealand Police, New Zealand Transport Authority and the local council. I expect that if that step is even ever taken, then it will be done with the proper authority under law and the proper expertise and hazard equipment to keep people safe on the road and safe from passing on an infection. For now, we must do what is asked of us. Fitiki malanga mai kama. Keep germs off your hands and clean any surfaces you come in regular contact with. Maintain a safe personal space of one to two meters from others and avoid physical contact. Do not travel unless it is essential. Call off any unnecessary meetings. Help out Pakeke to get their flu jabs and their essential supplies. Use the health line if you are feeling unwell or if you think you need to get tested for COVID-19. Above all, be kind to each other. We will keep you updated as new details come to hand. Stay safe, be patient, and be kind to each other. Te tahi karehi raru raru, ki te tangi tangi, ki te wahi ngaru. Hei reira te tahi āwhina kaita, mō tātou, uh, meo tātou whānau. Nō reira Ngāti Prou, ko ti rā koutou e pae pae nei, o taringa ki e nei kōro, Mateatua Koto e Manaki e Tiaki. Kia ora tātou.